Hello, so today we talk about uh, what is unconformity and uh, type of uh, unconformity. So in this video, we also talk about uh, how unconformity is forms actually. An unconformity is a non-depositional surface between two rock units that separates two different age rock masses or strata. So they are represents a break in the geologic record between two rock bodies of hundreds of millions of years or more. So sometimes for unconformity uh, uh, says that uh, time is missing. Unconformity indicating that the deposition of sediments was non-continuous. It represents times when deposition stopped. Some of the previously deposited rock was removed by an erosion and finally the deposition is again resumed. So see here, uh, this is a uh, unconformity actually. This is a uh, sedimentary rock units and uh, this is actually metamorphic rock units. So this horizon is actually eroded away and uh, this horizon is actually showing unconformity between two rock units or between uh, two edge rock units. Formation of uh, unconformity. So unconformities are gaps in the geology record that may form by erosion, crustal deformation, sea level variations. So erosion uh, is the first one. So unconformity forms when erosion processes erode away one time units of rock and then again deposition is resumed. The second one is the crustal deformation. So unconformity also forms due to the crustal deformation like uh, folding and faulting. After folding or faulting, the strata is undergone intense erosion processes and particular rock in it is eroded away. Third one is uh, sea level variation. So uh, sea level changes may result from regional uh, uplifts or uh, global sea level changes. When the sea levels falls, sediment uh, uh, erode from exposed soil. And when the sea level rises, sediments are typically deposited in shallow continental cells or coastal plains. So this is the process of uh, sea level variations. So uh, you can say that this is uh, due to the regression uh, and uh, transgression of uh, sea levels. Types of uh, unconformity. So there is uh, four type of unconformity. The first one is uh, uh, disconformity. So a disconformity is an unconformity between uh, parallel layers of sedimentary rocks. Disconformities are characterized by sub aerial erosion features. See here, this is a disconformity. So, a disconformity is actually found in uh, parallel uh, layers of sedimentary rocks. As you can see, these uh, both uh, uh, rocks is parallel actually. A para unconformity is a type of disconformity where a separation is simple bedding plane with no apparent buried uh, erosional surface actually. The second one is local unconformity. So local unconformity is uh, similar to disconformity, but as the name implies, it is uh, distinctly local in extent. The time involved is short actually. So you can say that this is a type of uh, disconformity, but uh, it is uh, local in uh, uh, extent actually. The third one is uh, non-conformity. So a non-conformity uh, exists between sedimentary rocks and uh, metamorphic or igneous rocks. When the sedimentary rocks lie above and was deposited on the pre-existing and eroded metamorphic uh, or igneous rocks. See here, uh, this is a, a sedimentary rock and this is a metamorphic rock. So this type of uh, uh, unconformity is actually exists between sedimentary and metamorphic rock or igneous rocks. The fourth one is uh, angular unconformity. So an uh, angular unconformity is an unconformity in which uh, horizontally parallel strata of uh, sedimentary rocks are deposited on tilted and eroded layers. See here, this is a parallel uh, sedimentary rocks. And uh, this is the uh, tilted or angular uh, uh, rock strata as the name implies, angular unconformity. So this is actually unconformity. So further orogenic activity can uh, deform and tilt the entire sequence of uh, layer. How to recognize unconformity in the field actually? So uh, under favorable conditions, unconformity may be uh, readily recognized in outcrops. 
road cuts and uh, quarries the most important criteria for recognize uh, uh, unconformities in the field are usually sedimentary but uh, unconformities can also be recognized from gaps in the paleontological records so uh, actually uh, unconformity uh, can be recognized in various way you can uh, recognize uh, unconformity in sedimentary terrain easily actually and apart from that people can uh, identify the uh, unconformity in paleontological records like uh, a fossil indicator